Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SV Talk, and we have the changes. You had the new stuff for the 2023, can you believe it? Ford F-150, I mean 2023, it's crazy how time's flying. So I have the changes for that model year. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know if you're going to go out and buy this truck. Yes, I understand you can't always find a lot, so you can have to special order it. But hey, this is what you need to know if you're going to buy a brand new F-50 this year for the 2023 model year. So let's go ahead and kick this off. This information comes from our friends over at the F-150. Gen14.com is their name for that forum, and I'll put the information on the screen. So they have a screenshot of major product changes, but what's the fun in that? Let's go ahead and talk about these changes, show some visuals. So, for example, let's start with this is the supercharged V8, the 5.2 liter from the Ford Raptor R that debuted this year. That's the big news. This kind of leads off the changes. If you remember that video that we did, that was uh, 700 horsepower, like I said. Interesting part was we had pricing kind of came out after that video. So you have $77,570 is the bait or $520, can't read the handwriting, is the base price. You click all the bells and you click all the boxes and you have $109,145. Yikes. <laughs> That's an expensive Raptor R. And frankly, I don't know why you'd order the base Raptor. I think you a base Raptor, most your Raptor R. If you're going that far, just click all the bells and whistles. You got the cash, go for it. Other changes this year, and I'm going to throw this on the stream, is this guy. This is kind of one of my new favorite looks for the Ford F-50. This is the Tremor, and what they're doing is they're making this its own trim level. And so they're making this like a standalone thing, which is kind of cool. You can always tell this is the Tremor going down the road because the orange goes along the front. What's interesting with this is they're going to make the 5.0 liter V8 the standard engine choice. That's opposite what they normally do. Normally they have the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. In this trim, or they do like a 2.7. Uh, yeah, they do the 2.7. Uh, they do like, or the, in the fleet truck, they have the 3.3 liter uh, V6. But in this case, they're doing 5.0 liter V8 as the standard engine in that, and optional is the V6, which is kind of crazy. Some theories suggest that maybe they're going to do that for a variety of reasons, but also because you can do a winch now. So typically, right below that front fascia is where the intercooler, intercooler sits. That cools down the turbos, keeps everything nice and functioning correctly. And in this case, if you take that out, do the 5-liter V8, you might be able to put a winch hook up there on the bumper, which is what they do with the F-250. Um, and the I think they can do F-350 trimmer as well. They have a winch kit for those. And so it'll be interesting to see if they do that as well. All right, so moving along to more stuff we're going to talk about. So we're going to look at next is going to be some discussion on cab configurations. So I'm going to go back for a second. I've kind of built a few of these pages, but... Uh, currently, if you select, say, like Super Cab, you get less choices. See how it goes? Just Lariat, XLT, XL, and Super Crew gets all of them, and then Regular Cab just goes XL and XLT. Well, the big change is going to be that this is going away. There will not be any more Lariat Super, Super Cab. Everything is going to go Super Crew except for the XL, XLT configurations. Those will still be coming in Regular Super Cab and Super Crew. But all other trucks are going to be super crew, which is, well, it's frankly become the most popular cab configuration these days. So not making a whole lot of uh, sense there as far as differences. But if you were to go into this, and I was going to go in here, and I get it, you got to, oh, you got to select your box too. So then start your build. Um, there's going to be some color changes this year. So we're going to lose, and I've been trying to find these. We're going to lose the space white metallic. That is gone. Uh, we're going to lose, I think it's over here. This is... There's a smoked quartz metallic. That's gone. That color is gone. Instead, we're going to add that one. Area 51 from the Bronco and the Maverick is coming into the Ford F-50 lineup, which makes sense. It's really kind of cool color when you see it in real life. This photo doesn't hold that justice. Uh, we have an avalanche from a Ranger. Let me see what the details are. Avalanche is just a color. I guess it's a white. That is from the Ranger Special Edition. I couldn't find that one. Sorry. Uh, a sewer gray metallic which i thought i found over here yeah, i guess over here um a sewer gray metallic and we had hot pepper chili red which oh i know where it was it's going to be in <laughs> click around it's this hot that's race red hot pepper red metallic tinted clear coat is coming to fm50 and a, a sewer gray i thought it was a gray metallic let's see if i can find it real fast i'm gonna run out of time no, I don't know. It's it's one of the, it's like a gray metallic that is coming into the F50 lineup as well. So other changes are going to be 
It's going to be the Ford Heritage Edition is making its debut. This is 75 years of Ford, which we can see with, see with this cool like little thing. 1948 to two, 2023, 75 years of Ford F-Series. In this truck, you're going to see these colors. It's two-toned. They're calling it an ABA uh, set color paint scheme. So A would be the top, B would be the middle, and A, and A would be the bottom. So the bottom and the top match, and in the middle, they don't. So uh, combination is going to be race red midsection with upper and lower carbonized gray. The Atlas blue midsection with upper and lower agate black. Animator blue midsection with upper and lower carbonized gray. Avalanche midsection with upper and lower agate black. And Area 51 midsection with upper and lower agate black. Which, so if we read through the details that I just showed you, we can see Area 51. So clearly we knew these changes were coming. But that is that for the heritage. We also have a Rattler package, which we wrote about here. And this F50 Rattler, what it is, it's the base XL trim. And you get the FX4 package, you get skid plates and stuff. Basically, it's a it's a cheap off-road truck um, from in that base XL trim. So they're trying to give you an option between the $109,000 Raptor R and the Raptor and <laughs> all that stuff they got going on. The other change we're going to talk about here, and I'm going to go here again to talk about it, is going to be in, I'm going to go to the XL, excuse me. I'm going to go to XL trim. I'm going to build that one. And it's kind of talking about getting more expensive. And here is why. So typically Ford has done this, or if you go down to your packages, you have equipment groups. And this is 100A. And they call this equipment high package 100A, 101A. And what this does is it adds things like cruise control, reverse sensing system, and power equipment, which is basically uh, power locks, power windows. So what Ford is doing is they're killing this package. And they're making, they're killing the base package and making this the base package, I should say more specifically, so that the 101A is where you now begin on XL, on Tremor, on Lariat, and Raptor. All those inexpensive, cheaper pricing you've been seeing over the last couple of years, it's going to be gone. They're going to start a little bit higher, so you're looking at 920. We haven't had official pricing yet for the 2023 coming out. I would guess we're just going to group this together or just going to be give you a discount or something they're going to do with that. Well... I doubt a discount. I bet you it's just going to be increased in price point. And frankly, I was talking to dealers and I've been talking to customers a lot as well. And nobody really orders the base stuff anymore. People want power windows. They just want that stuff. And it's interesting when I click on that, it adds, what do we say? 920. But then if I click on that, it says it's going to change my price by $170. <laughs> so it's confusing pricing. But anyways, you're going to see that the F50 is going to become more expensive because the base price can increase probably a little bit because we're just going to give you that stuff, which is interesting because I still got people that talk, ask me all the time. They're like, Tim, I'd love to get a new truck, but I don't want any power. I don't want any power window, nothing. I just, I don't want any of that stuff. I want crank windows. And I think Ford was one of the last trucks to offer crank windows and that's going away. I believe there's a Ram version as well. You can get in the tradesman with crank windows, but frankly, you know, People aren't just doing crank windows anymore. Everybody's going power, any more of the, the power lock stuff. Again, I've talked to some dealers about it. And even for the work truck stuff, the work truck guys, they want power windows, power locks. They just want it these days too. So um, I don't blame them there. I like power windows, power locks. Um, but yeah, so you're going to see overall, you're going to see pricing go up. I mean, imagine from uh, price increases due to part supply shortages, due to inflation, and by taking those equipment groups away and making them now standard equipment, You'll see the F50 will probably be more expensive this next year, would be my guess. And you're going to see that two packages, Rattler Heritage, different colors, and the Raptor R. So there's the changes for you on the 2023 Ford F150. For more, check the videos over here, website down below. As you can see, Pickup Truck Talk on social media. And I, as usual, will see you down the road.